frustrating we have to meet under these circumstances, but uh, Tavares, if you kind of reflect on some of the things that you tweeted about today, the fact that he had a great attitude and just a, a willingness to grow and achieve, if you could just kind of expand on that. Yeah, yeah, you bet. What would you say in terms of just summing up what it was like to work with him? Uh, Tavares always had a, just a tremendous attitude. He was raised the right way. I, I loved his mother. Uh, from the very first home visit, Chris Vaughn set the thing up. Well, you could just tell uh, tremendous home atmosphere and a uh, great relationship with his mom. And his attitude really, I think, re reflected his mother. Very humble, uh, easygoing, and uh, always listening, great listener. And you knew that he had great talent. You knew that. Unbelievable arm, NFL arm, strong, strong, strong. But uh, you just love the way he carried himself. And uh, I just love his character and his attitude. You know, you talk about the 10 seasons he had in the NFL and his potential. And I think that's the thing as we kind of revert to what transpired there in the 2006 draft to see him slip into the second round. What was going through your mind when you saw him get drafted like that? Well, I was excited for him. I was, I was pulling hard for him. I actually had talked to a few scouts had called me and um, you, you couldn't say enough good things about him. I, and I also had the privilege when he left, we re reunited. I don't know if you're, know this or not we reunited in an all-star game yeah uh in san antonio uh i think it's used to the old east west shrine game he started for us and uh it was just great from the very first day on to be reunited reunited and have a week with him was uh really it was great and uh again same thing you know had changed a bit tremendous attitude a lot of scouts were there asking about everything and of course uh, they saw <laughs> they saw they needed to to see during the week uh, when you watch him practice, uh, he can throw from one hash, uh, throw the comeback 18, 20 yard out anticipation with RPMs, unbelievable. And so he really uh, just did some great things there to help himself. And then David Lee, if you remember David Lee, who coached with us at Arkansas, he also coached him. He called me about him uh, when he made that trip to Buffalo, uh, Buffalo Bills. So David Lee was on the staff there. So, it was just a, a, a good connection, and just uh, I just hated to hear the news. Dow Loggins called me early this morning, and I just I just couldn't believe it. Yeah, somebody who, and Tavares Jackson led the Vikings to the NFC North title there in 2008. Um, when you look back on uh, one of the tweets that was out there from somebody who's extremely famous, Russell Wilson tweeting his love for Tavares. Uh, when you saw that tweet and, and just the connection he has with Russell having backed him up, on a Super Bowl title winning team uh, back in uh, 2014. When you saw that tweet, what were you thinking? Well, same thing. You know, that's what his teammates think about him. Um, he was a great teammate and um, very unselfish. And he worked hard and he would do anything for anybody. And so that didn't surprise me at all. And it also didn't surprise me when it was his time to start on that level, that high level in the NFL. It also didn't surprise me the success that he had then. Uh, because of the way he was going to prepare for it. And, um, well, I don't care if Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, you know, to me, to me, he was always the same. And uh, he only tried to, as we said, you know, achieve and try to please. And he really tried to go through everything. And he would, he wanted to, to help his team win. Yeah, that's the thing. It seems like that's the consensus is that if he was involved in a quarterback battle, he was an exceptional teammate we saw some tweets about that uh, bj daniels talked about how he certainly was a mentor to some people and brett Favre called him pure class so when you look at what he had been doing here in the last couple of years and his relationship with tennessee state it seemed like he was on the road to something big there in terms of coaching that's the thing that was it's so sad to me at 36 years of age you know that he was going to be uh, a difference maker uh, especially with young people. Everybody has a dream, high school and college, they want to play in the NFL. Everybody has that. So you can imagine an 18 or 19, 20-year-old uh, that uh, a quarterback with all these aspirations and dreams to listen to somebody who's been there. Uh, I, I know Tavares was going to be a great, great coach, uh, just kind of getting started and um, really proud that he, he chose that profession after his days in the NFL. And I just hate you didn't get to carry on. Hey, as always, Houston, I appreciate the time. Thanks for 
uh, taking a few minutes. And uh, again, I'm sorry we had to meet under these circumstances. Take care. You bet. You bet. Take care.